Hey guys, I'm Examator and today we are going to review the Ray H9 Plus mini keyboard. So let's get into it. So for the unboxing, it comes in a big box like this, as Amazon always sends it like that. So you would need a pocket knife for this or like a box cutter or something. You open it by just breaking the hatch over here and it opens up easily. And the first thing you see is this box right here. That's the box you would get. And it reads over here like the H9 Plus model by Retech. And the other thing you see is the express buying, uh, uh, express buying receipt about your thing. So let's put this box aside and see how this one is. So for this, there's like a flag over here, right here. And to open it, you just press your hand inside it and then pull the flap outside and open it like this. So the first thing you see over here is the cable. It's like the charging cable you get. It's a USB-B. It's a type B like those old phones used to have. And the second thing you see is the remote itself wrapped in a form pad. So it's like a set, there's a set of like holding it back over here. You remove it and then you open the form. There you see. That's the thing right here. And this is the cable over here. So the mini keyboard comes in seven colors. Black, blue, red, green, goldish and a caramel color which is quite good and I like that. The other things the keyboard has is that it has 73 buttons with 92 functional keys. It is a QWERTY keyboard and it comes with a USB 2.0. The transmitter range is 33 feet and it's a 2.4 GHz keyboard. So guys, it has a D-pad with 4 arrow keys and an OK button for multimedia functions. The other multimedia keys include the going back, pause and play and the forward buttons. The volume up and down rockers, the home key, and the taskbar button. It comes, as you see, it comes in the black backlit LED colors, and which are like the rainbow mode. And when you click the FN plus the Windows key right here, which is the light bulb, the LED mode changes like red, green, blue, white, yellow, purple, cyan and nothing if you like it that way but i like the rainbow mode it looks super cool the other things it has is like the shortcut keys which are like pressing the fn and the escape button would give you the f1 f2 like that and the other thing it has that uh, on the back there is a battery right here which is a 600 mAh and gives you a 6 hours to 20 hours of battery life depending on the usage of this. The good thing I found about this uh, mini keyboard is that it turns off automatically like it goes in a sleep mode after you don't use it for around 1 to 2 minutes. Which is really great to preserve battery and, don't, and as you don't have to charge more time. The place to charge here is right here and it comes with a USB 2.0 cable which is a USB-C as you can see right there as you see it's already gone in sleep mode and when I press any buttons like I'm pressing the control it comes back on the touchpad has three easy functions like one finger touch gives you a just one finger touch gives you a left click the two finger touch gives you a right click and the two finger touch uh, the two finger scroll gives you like the scroll function and the mini keyboard also has like this bumpers on each end so that if you click the left bumper it does a left click on the mouse and if you click the right button it does the right mouse click so if you are losing it like this and you want to like go around quickly and just type it instead of tapping it you can just hit the left bumpers and it would be really good the other function for this would be the LEDs over here this one gives you the connectivity thing 
The other one uh, is the battery. So when you have less battery, it starts flashing. And the third one is the range. So if you go out of range, it just like starts flashing too. So by far, this product has no downsides or any problem that I'm facing with it. I've been using this keyboard for like counted countless days for now and it's really good. I really feel it's really comfortable, it's portable and it's small so it can fit anywhere. I can even carry it with me. And just for the curiousness, I'm play I've been playing with this keyboard and it's not the best experience but it's a great experience if you don't have like a keyboard or mouse handy and you want to do it. You can just use the touchpad instead of having a mouse but I wouldn't recommend it playing it. It's just like a typing thing from which you can use on any device that supports a, a USB 2.0 or 3.0 works but the USB type C won't as it doesn't have the thing and the products that works uh, can be the Apple TV, the Android TVs, the laptops, computers, PS4, Xbox, anything works which has a USB 2.0 but if you're using a Roku device the Roku device doesn't support it and uh, sorry to say that. That's it guys, I'm Examator and like if you love the video and subscribe if you found it useful to you. Stay tuned for many more great product reviews in the future. Till then, I'm Examator and see you the next time.